Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to work with tags in Lulable. So when pricing a project, it's quite common to have fairly large data sets. So let's take for example the resource list. It's very common to have a few thousand resources when you're busy pricing a large project. So it's quite important to be able to effectively organize and manage such a large list of resources. And one way to do that in Lulable is by making use of the tags module. So tags are essentially user-defined labels that you can create and then stick on any data element in Lullabuild and you can then search for data elements according to these tags. So as you can see, I've already set up a list of various different tags in Lullabuild. But let's say we want to be able to quickly find all of our hired plant in Lullabuild. So to do that, I can create a new tag by clicking the Add button. This will then add a tag to the table and if I double click on that line, I can edit the tag and we can type in hired plants. Okay, so if I then jump back to my resource list, I'm going to open up my filter tab and I'm firstly going to search for my plant items. And there I've got a hired TLB and I want to assign the tag to this item now. So there's two options. You can either select the items that you want to tag and use the kebab menu to apply tags. Or alternatively, you can simply double click on the item, open up the tags menu and select the hired plant tag. Note that you can select multiple tags here. So one element can have more than one tag in Lulable. Done. All right. So once that item is tagged, we can quickly find it by simply looking in the tag filter and switching on the hired plant tag filter. And then automatically it only filters out those items that have got that tag attached to it. So in Lulabuild, tags can be attached to resources, to clusters, to worksheets, and to bill items, and it can make you price a lot faster. Thank you, and until next time.